So in response to a, a myocardial infarction or a heart attack, there is no blood flow to a piece of your heart muscle and subsequently it dies. And once that piece of tissue is gone, it does not grow back. And that's where LRC10 comes in because it is involved when nature can do it on its own. And now our goal is to control that and reintroduce that in an adult setting to reawaken this dormant regenerative capacity. Hi, I'm Victoria Sutton. I'm a Senior Intellectual Property Manager at WARF, and it is my pleasure to help patent this WARF Innovation Award nominated technology. If you have an invention you'd like to discuss with WARF, please feel free to reach out to me directly or to use the link on your screen. Now, stay tuned to learn more about this nominee. Hi, my name is Young Sup Lee, faculty member of cell and regenerative biology, now uh, emeritus position. My name is Ahmed Mahmoud. I'm an assistant professor at the Department of Cell and Regenerative Biology. My name is Tim Camp. I'm a professor in the Department of Medicine and the Department of Cell and Regenerative Biology, and I'm director of the Stem Cell and Regenerative Medicine Center at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Improving treatments for coronary artery disease have led to better survival, but unfortunately many patients are left with heart failure because uh, they have lost some contracting heart muscle and the body really can't respond and grow new heart muscle. So the default is to form a scar. The heart is the least regenerative organ, meaning once the heart is injured, like myocardial infarction, then the heart muscle cells doesn't regenerate. The crucial problem is to understand how we can make the cardiac muscle cells that are once damaged, induced to divide, and so they regenerate and restore the function. The mammalian heart, in a very brief period, it can regenerate right after birth. So we're using that model to understand how mammalian cells can eventually regenerate. So our interest in heart regeneration stems from understanding how naturally the heart is able to do it. And one key factor is the ability of the cardiac muscle cells to complete cell division. Now, because that doesn't happen in the adult heart, our goal is to find out what controls that ability of a cell to divide. We found that this protein, LRC10, specifically regulates that last phase. Data suggests that this molecule is necessary for young cardiac muscle cells to divide and can uh, give rise to two daughter cells which eventually can form the damaged part of the heart. When we overexpress that protein and reintroduce it, now the cardiomyocytes are able to complete that cell division, showing a key function for this protein to really control that key aspect of myocyte cell division and subsequently regeneration. By overexpressing or increasing the level of LRC10, we're hopeful that we can prevent that scar from forming and get new muscle to form that'll maintain the function of the heart. Our next phase of this project is to be able to overexpress that protein in an adult first mouse heart. Once that's uh, confirmed, then we'll be able to do it in large animal models and eventually develop novel ways to introduce it to a human, again, to allow a cardiomyocyte to complete the division, which is really the main uh, kind of blockade for regeneration. In order to get the uh, protein of interest, LRC10, into the heart, we need to find a way to deliver it. One of the easy ways to deliver it now, um, practically, is to insert the gene for that protein into a viral vector that can be used safely to deliver cargo to the heart specifically. And uh, the technology for viral vectors and delivery of uh, different genes to the body continues to improve dramatically over recent years. So there's a number of ways that we can get this gene encoding this important protein into the injured heart. But it's a, it's a progression from small animal to larger animal to clinical trials that takes time to do it safely and in the, in the best fashion uh, possible. Hi, I'm Andy Dateen, Director of Licensing at Wharf. To learn more about this high potential technology, please use the information on your screen. And to learn more about other high potential technologies, please like or subscribe.